Hello guys, welcome to your first hands-on tutorial of OpenCV using Python. In this tutorial, you will learn that how can you open your images, videos or webcam using OpenCV. So if, uh, if you haven't watched the theory videos, then I would recommend you to watch the same and you can find the link for the same in the description. And also the code for today's video will be available in the GitHub, whose link is also available in the description. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we will import our OpenCV using uh, by typing import CV2. Okay. So after that, I have to write, uh, first I will learn how can we open our images, any kind of images. To do that, I will first make my IMG variable and then I will write CV2 dot I am read. So what I am read method does is that it tries to read the contents of the image given in the location of its uh, arguments. So I will pass on the location of the image. So for example, this is my folder, okay, uh, resources folder inside this I have my images and I want to select this image, pick one, I want to open pick one. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first copy the location, copy the address and after that I will write the name of the image file which is pick1.jpg. After that I will write cv2 dot I am show. So what this is going to do is that it will uh, show the contents of the image inside a GUI window. So I will write this and I will write output as the title of my GUI window. And after that, I will write IMG. Now, if I run it, you can see that my code will disappear. I will run again to run. You have to simply press control, control shift and F10. So you can see that a window appeared and immediately after appearing closed off. So in order to prevent that, I have to use a wait key method. So I'm going to write cv2 dot wait key. And inside this, I'm going to write zero. So what zero is going to do is that it will ensure that my once the image comes on the screen, it will continue to stay, stay on the screen uh, on the screen until I close the window. Now, if I run, you can see that my image has come on the screen and it continues to stay on the uh, screen until I close the window. So this is how you can open your images. If I write one in place of zero, my image will come for one millisecond. If I write 10, then my image will come for about 10 milliseconds. If I write hundred, then my image will come for about hundred milliseconds. If I write thousand, my image will come for one second. If I write 10,000, then my image will continue to stay on the screen for 10 seconds. So this is how you can use your wait key. Now here you can see that once I uh, show my GUI window, you can see that the title of my GUI window is output. It is because I have written here output. If I write here anything else that is any random stuff. And now if I run my, uh, if I run my code, you can see that the title of my GUI window is the same line, which I've written inside my IAM show, the first argument. So this is how you can read or open your images you can open using OpenCV. Now we are going to learn that how can we open any video presented in our system using OpenCV. So to do that, I will first import my CV2 and after that I will have to create a variable that will store the video object. Now I have to use my video capture method. In case of images, I have to write I am read, but in case of video, you have to write video capture. So I'm going to write video capture where V is capital and then video capture. And then I have to specify the location of my video. So my videos location is in, inside the resources folder. My videos name is video one. So to do that, I am going to copy the whole location and I'm then I'm going to paste it inside this. And now I'm going to write video one dot mp4 so the contents of the video will go inside the vid variable now i have to create a loop and inside the loop i have to first create two variables the uh, out of which the first one is a boolean and the second one contains the frame by frame information so if you are getting confused then i recommend you to watch the theory video and you can find the link for the same in the description below so that you won't uh, get confused in any step that i'm going to implement to create a boolean i'm going to write success so success is going to be my boolean uh, value whose value is going to be true or false and my frame by frame information is going inside the variable img or image variable now i'm going to use a read method 
video read method so i'm going to write v, uh, vid which is this object vid my video object and i'm going to use my read method now what read method is going to do is that it is going to uh, collect the frame by frame information of the video it is going to analyze the frame by frame information of the video and bring the contents of each particular frame inside the img variable i'm going to write inside nothing then i have to write my cv2 dot i am show that is going to show gui window inside which my frame by frame information is going to come video is what video is just fast moving images so in this loop inside this uh, loop my gui box will contain the frame by frame information each time my img variable will come and go and another img variable who, which contains the contents of the width object will come and then it will go so this is how my uh, loop is going to work now i'm going to specify my weight key that is after each one millisecond my gui, uh, GUI window will close and the next frame by frame information will come and i have uh, written 0xff is equal to ordq which means that until and unless i type q on the keyboard my video object or my gws window will not get closed now i have to write even if you don't write it will work fine but still it is a good practice to write uh, your dot release method and dot destroy all windows method so this will make sure that when your video gets completed your object will close and this line will make sure that once the entire program has run all the unnecessary frames or and the gui windows and frames will get closed so once you run this you can see that my video has appeared on the screen i can change the speed of my object here you can see that even after pressing the cross button my window is not getting closed it is because this will close only and only if i press the q button now if i write here 10 and run you can see that the video speed has decreased a bit if i write here 100 you can see that my video has got even slower so this is how you can also control the speed of your video now let us see that how can we use our webcam using opencv now let us see that how can we open our webcam so in order to do that you have to just repeat the previous steps uh, done in the part where we learned how to open a video so you have to write a new variable here i have written cap short form for capture and again i have used uh, again i have used the video capture method so here i have passed zero inside my argument so zero means that i'm using my default camera so if i had one or uh, more than one camera then i can write one two or three depending upon the camera that i have to use use so since i have only one uh, webcam so i'm going to write here zero then i have to set my width height and brightness and after that i have to repeat the loop that i have used in case of video capture so in order to run that you can press ctrl shift and f10 and now i can close it by pressing q so this is how you can open your images videos and webcam using opencv so in the next video, we will learn that how can we do the arithmetic operations and binary operations using OpenCV. So we will meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.